Hear me now? Sure can. Yeah, okay. So today I was just in all my activities, I was just staying with that I am as much as I could, just being aware of the presence and the I am. But what comes up sometimes is a sense of duality when I'm saying that. And I don't know where that comes from. When you're saying that, did you say? Or when I'm, hmm, yeah, when I'm, I guess I do say it to myself to start the whole thing going. I say, I am. I don't say it out loud. I say it in my mind. And then I just kind of let myself kind of float into that. But somehow it was like a split, like I am, it kind of split, like, and I wanted to ask you about that before and I forgot. So I don't know what you can say about that. Because I am is just that here-ness, right? That presence, that beingness, that's always here. I'm really curious about this split. I'm really curious. I mean, this split between an I and an am, is that right? Yeah, it's like, it, it's like, it's okay. like it felt there was, um, I don't know how to say it. It just felt like it was two or one thing talking to another. I don't know how to word it, but it was just a, a feeling of, I almost felt like instead of saying I am, I should just say am without the Good. I, something like that. Good. That's right. Right. Oh, You're is it? One. That's right. Oh, okay. That's exactly right. I am as a pointer. Okay. It'll eventually turn into either I or am. Either is okay. Yeah? All right. That's the last pointer. Mm. I am as a pointer. Okay. Yeah? And mm -hmm. you're right. It will, because when we say I am, yeah, that's not the actual I am. It's a pointer oh. to the actual I am. Any, any, anything we say about the actual amness right. can never be the words that's trying to point to it. And we've got two words there trying to point to it. I am. It's a pointer. And you're right. It, that's exactly what can sometimes happen. It just kind of goes... You see that you see the division in the I am because the I am is dualistic, right? It, it's almost like I felt like the me was here when I was saying it. Sometimes I am as if the I was the me, and then I said, Okay, I'm going to just drop the I and just feel the am or the amness or whatever you want to call it. That just felt yeah. more, it just yeah. felt more true. It felt more yeah. true because yeah. it is. And that just happened, didn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah? yeah. Even the idea, this kind of feels a little bit dualistic. I'm just going to drop the I. Even that internal dialogue wasn't mm -hmm. you. That just happened. And then the I drops away and then just am. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it happens the opposite. Either way, it doesn't matter. Oh, okay. Sometimes the am will drop one and people will just be left with I. Oh, okay. It is fine. Oh, okay. Doesn't matter. It is fine. It's still a pointer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But try and find a division in mm -hmm. I. Or try and find a division in M. There's not one there. Right. So now it's super sharp. You stay right there. That's super sharp. Mm. Yeah. 
I am is quite split. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's still, it's like, it's, it's a, a really sharp pointer. But I never used to, I never noticed that before because I used to, I used to say I am for years, almost like a mantra. And yeah. it just was like, I am, I am, I am. I just kept repeating it yeah. either out loud or internally. And I'd sit in my meditations and use that as a mantra. I don't do that anymore, but um, just, yeah, today it was just like, just felt like I am just doesn't, didn't sit right as a good <laughs> it's not meant to <laughs> okay good thank yeah. you for clarifying that thank you yeah things go still with the i am things mm -hmm. go still yeah right yes and right. something else starts to recognize something mm -hmm. and it happened hold on i am Drop the eye. M. Mm -hmm. Spot on. That just happened. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Just happens. That's exactly right, Ursula. <laughs> awesome. Mm. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, it's just as soon as I, yeah, it just quietens down everything when yeah. I stay in that. Good. Mm -hmm. Nothing more to say on that right now. You and I, nothing. Right now, just, just that. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Pleasure. Thanks for sharing that. That was awesome. Yeah. See that. And I'm not saying this to you, Ursula, I'm just saying it. Um, this I am, that's the first split as a baby or an infant rather that's what creates the first split into duality i am that's the very first split as a two-year-old yeah or whatever age it was i am terry That is mum and that is dad. But to even know that that is mum or that is dad, what needs to come first is I am. That's the first split. What oh boy does that get piled on top of after that? Yeah, look at your history, all the shit that's been piled on top of that original I am. <laughs> so, yeah. And it's really, really interesting because for uh, a lot of people, not all, but a lot, um, that's the last point of home, I am. And what you've just described, Ursula, is exactly what should happen. One of them drops away, the I or the M, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Because you won't find a split in I and you won't find a split in M. But you will find a split in I am. Because you could straight away ask the question, who is? There's your split. I am. Who is? You won't find any division in am. You won't find any division in I. Nothing after it. Just am.
So for me, for some reason, when I go into just the I, I think of that I'm made up of so many eyes. So maybe I'm confusing the I with the me. Because when I'm in the am. Could be. I, I feel different than I'm just in the I. For some reason, it's like I, the mother, I, the this, I, the. Got it. Got I, it. Yeah. I sometimes it's, feel so right. many eyes. Got it. Stay with the am. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's just for me. I, do, I don't know if that makes sense. It doesn't matter. Yeah. That's, this is all that matters right now is this. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. And I can see how that could be the case too. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Stay with the M. Okay. Just M. There's no division in it. No. Yeah. Now you're really sitting in it. M. Now you're really here. M. The mind can't function there. It can't function there. In that direct experience of amnes, the mind can't even arise. Personal backstory I'm talking about. Can't arise. There's no footing for it. There's nowhere to stand. It's not split. More accurately, we could say, M is non dual. Anything from or apart from this I am immediately becomes a concept invented by mind. Immediately. There's no mind here. Dive into the stillness and the peace of that. Yeah, when, when I'm when I'm in that, it's like it's like it's like the am is like a oh, what's the word? It's like um, you know when you've got a boat and then you want an anchor. That's right. It's like an anchor. It just kind of puts me right here in the present because there's Hello. nothing nothing to compare nothing to it's just it's just i don't know just yeah, yeah. I, I, I do <laughs> good good yay good <laughs> and anything other than this and It'll be crystal clear to you that anything other than this M will just be the mind kicking in. It'll be the mind coming into play. Anything other than this will just be the mind overlaying it. Here's where you really get to see. What what that <laughs> what mind is, or you might not even need to see that anymore. Zero, just you might just be smack bang in the am, and that's it. Just stay. But if mind does arise, yeah, it's witnessing. You're aware of it from am. Am is where you are. Doesn't matter what it says, it's, it's got nothing on M. Trust me, it's got nothing on M. <laughs> nothing. Yeah. Great.
just remember, we're not trying to see the truth. We're trying to see the false. In the process, you're left with the truth. Because it's only the truth that could see the false. And when the false is seen, it's just like smoke and mirrors. It just goes poof. Ah. And you're left with that truth and yeah, mm -hmm. that truth that saw the false. And the false can't stand up. It can't. It can't stand up to investigation. The false. It can't. It's too easy to be seen by the truth. Mm. Yeah. Don't go looking for the truth. Do the opposite. Go looking for that that's false. Because the only thing that could see that that's false is the truth. And that that's looking for the truth is the false. That's why it never finds it. That's why people get stuck on the path for years, Lizzie. Yeah. Looking for the truth. <laughs> Who's looking for it? The false. 